Hi everybody, I'm going to show you an example of what you need to do for your takeout this evening. And we had been looking at how we can divide a fraction by a whole number and the relationship with dividing by a number can be the same thing as multiplying by a fractional part. So after many different examples, we can see that when I look at number one, one half divided by or one fourth, sorry, divided by two, I can draw a model to show what that look like looks like. And I can also show that that is the same thing in as writing one fourth times one half. So if I start out with one fourth, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use a tape diagram. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show that this is cut into four equal pieces. So one fourth of that would be right here. If I'm going to take that one fourth and I'm going to cut it in half, I would do that. Divide it by two is the same as cutting it in half. So when I cut it in half, what is one half of one fourth? That is this part right here. So I can see that part visually, but to find a fraction name for that part, I would have to do the same thing by cutting all of the other fourths into halves as well. And now I can see that one fourth of one half is the same as one, which is I have shaded there out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One out of eight. So there's my visual model to represent that I can see if I take my one quarter and I divide it by two, it's the same thing as saying one quarter times one half. And I can see that that's going to equal one eighth. I can also do the math and following the rules for multiplying fractions. If I look at my numerators, one times one equals one, and the denominators, four times two equals eight. You need to make sure that you do number two on your own. Before you do number two, if you don't like the tape diagram, I will do a, another visual of one-fourth divided by two that might help you as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll just start by drawing a box. And of that box, I'm going to draw quarters. And once I draw the quarters, I'll go ahead and I'll shade in one quarter or one-fourth. And if it says I'm going to divide it by two, all I have to do then is go ahead and take that. And I'm going to go, these lines are vertical, so I'm going to make my divide by two horizontal. And once I divide that by two, I can see I've got two equal parts or halves. And again, now I can see that my answer, let's get my highlighter here, the one half that is, that's also one fourth is right there. And again, that would end up being one piece out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that is overlapped. I should have gone all this to show you one half. So then you can see your one half that's overlapped is right in that red there. All right, I hope this will help you. And good luck. Let's get this done, and we're going to move forward with more division with fractions tomorrow.